welcome back. It's OG here and we are playing Juno. Today we're going to Hypatian. Well, that's the plan anyway. I have no idea if this can be done with this rocket. This is the exact same rocket which we took to Volko in the last episode. I, I haven't even opened the game since then. So I'm just going to try to use it to go to Hypatian. And we'll see if that works or not. Hypatian is a moon. And it's found the outermost moon of the outermost planet. I don't even know what the outermost planet is called. So this should be fun. Alright. Let's get there. Okay, we're in orbit. Now I guess I'd better find that planet. Ooh, it's a big offset on those moons. Hey, it's Hypatian. Gotcha. Now I gotta find a way to get to you. Oh, this is tricky. Uh, now I have to eyeball it. I'm here. So I can swing around. Burn here somewhere and try and catch it here. Awesome. Great plan. Let's do it. You don't get a more foolproof plan than that. Looks good. Okay, now I have to try and plot an intercept. Something that will result in me passing close to Hypatian's planet. I really need to learn the name of that planet. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I think I can get closer than that. Uh, 
I must be careful not to not to go into orbit the wrong way. If I get things wrong, I'll swing around the planet the wrong way. Then uh, I'll be going in the opposite direction to the moons. And that would be bad. I'm not sure how you check which way the moons are going around. I assume that everything is orbiting in the normal direction. In other words, when we're looking top down, they're going anti clockwise. Yeah, that that makes me happy. Uh -oh. I'm good with that. Let's do this next burn. I don't know what my rocket is doing right now. Staging the rocket, continuing the burn. That looks problematic. I think I might be approaching the planet from the wrong side. <sighs> I'm not going to worry yet. I will do a burn later on. Make some corrections. Okay. Time for a correction burn. Let's do it. Step one, get into orbit around the planet. Taurus, <laughs> the planet has a name. No, that wasn't it. Eurydos. Close enough. I'm going to get close to Hypaxian's orbit. It is Hypaxian, right? Weird name, can't remember it. I'm going to get the distance sort of right. And then I will sort out the inclination problem later. Might as well plan the next burn so long. Just circularizing on a similar orbit to Hypaxian. Cool, two burns planned. Let's do them. I can see the planet. 
And I uh, still have a decent amount of fuel in the second stage. Next step is to align my orbit. Good enough. Apachin. That's your name. Okay. It is, of course, on the opposite side of the planet to what I am. So, I will travel slower than it does. And the easiest thing to do is just to stay out here and let it catch up to me. Right, so I don't want it to go past me. It is going to go past me, I waited too long. Too bad. Now I have to tighten my orbit to be within its orbit. The greater the overlap, the faster I'll catch it. The fast isn't necessarily good. I have time. My astronauts were clever, they packed a lot of food and water and stuff. Hmm. I could actually catch this moon on this orbit if I burn again now. I'll catch it in the same position after one orbit. Burning away from an object to get towards it. That's orbital mechanics for you. to be getting grabbed by the SOI. And I've just got the achievement for discovering Hypatian. So far so good. Now I need to orbit that the moon. I'm going to do a roughly circular orbit and then I'm going to see if I need to sort my inclination out. Oh wow, this thing is irregular. That makes life difficult. I want to speed up time now and see how it rotates. Oh man. It rotates pretty irregularly. Not the way I was hoping. I was hoping I could just 
orbit here around the thin part where it's flipping end over end so this this is going to be tough let's find that quick save button I'm just going to lower my orbit bit by bit slowly and then try and plonk it down quickly oh man this is terrible This is all kinds of scary. It reminds me of asteroid mining in Elite Dangerous. Wow. I'm not new to this kind of thing, but man, this is... This is going to be tough. I'm going to do the same as for Volko. A crash is as good as a landing, as long as it counts. And... You know what? I think I know how to do this. I want to try and land like here or here so I must burn around here that'll let me get in nice and low and I'll just plonk down there oh I could start burning here try and land in the middle yeah I like that idea but I think I'll do it from here because I want to land in the light more light on the other side. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. Here goes nothing. Turn the thrust down to minimum. Now we just zoom a bit closer and see what happens. I don't even know if I can trust these figures now. don't have much speed and that's kind of ideal I think I'm going to stay I'm expecting very little gravity here so it doesn't matter that this last stage is so weak 
Rest the weight should not be an issue. I also don't think I'll need those SRBs at all. was to just burn towards the light a little bit. But I don't want to change things too much. I don't want to change things too much, says the man changing things too much. is kind of exciting. I like this. slow down or things could get unfortunate For the record, I haven't used a quick load. This is still the original try. I am cautiously optimistic. This is looking a lot better than I thought it would when I started this mission. Almost there. And that is a landing. And we're out of here. I landed on Hapachi and everybody, you saw it happen right here. And I'm taking off too. Where to? I don't know. I probably don't have the fuel to get home. The important thing is, I made it. Thank you for joining me. See you again next time. OG, out.